Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing properties of exponents. Our first thing we're going to go to is to simplify this expression. We have 2m squared times 2m cubed. How do you simplify this? So basically, we know that m squared times m cubed is going to be, so we're going to have 2m's multiplied together times 3m's multiplied together. So we're going to have, so first we have 2 times 2. That's 4. Now, m squared times m cubed. What is that going to simplify to? So when you have m squared times like that times m cubed, a variable to the power raised to the same variable of, the, of another power, we're going to simply add the exponents. So it's going to be, if you have m squared times m cubed, it's going to be equal to m to the fifth. We're simply adding the exponents. So we're going to have 4m to the fifth. That is our final solution. Let's try another example. All right. Let's say we have 2k to the fourth times 4k. And then, let's see. Say we have, okay, well, we'll do that first. So how would you do this? 2k to the fourth times 4k. So same thing, we have two times four, which is eight, and k to the fourth times k is going to be k to the fourth times k to the one. If there's no exponent, it's just one. So we're gonna add these, so it's gonna be eight k to the fifth. And that's how you do it. All right, let's do another one. Let's say we have more variables. Let's say we have two x times mm, three y. Okay, how would you do this? We can simplify two times three is six, but x times y we cannot simplify. So it's going to leave that at six x times y like this six x y. That's is our solution. See, we have another one. All right, let's say we have four V cubed times V U squared, V times U squared. How would you do this? So, we still have a four, so we're still going to bring down that four with nothing to combine to. Now we have v cubed times v, which is v to the fourth. And we still have u squared left. So we're just gonna keep it as u squared, like this. So this is our answer, four v to the fourth u squared. That's how we're gonna write it. And let's try another example. Let's say we have um let's do another one. Three x squared in the parentheses, but that entire expression is going to be squared. How would you simplify this expression? When you have three, like three x squared, squared is going to be, you know how six squared is six times six. We're raising that number to how many times? So here we're going to have three x squared times three x squared. We multiplied it out because this entire thing is raised to the second power. So we're gonna combine, so we'll have nine x to the fourth. And that's what you get when you simplify it.
Or another way, if this doesn't help, here's another way. We can take three to the power of two, which is nine, and x squared squared. Think about this. So when you have something like x squared squared, we're gonna multiply the power and the raise to the x. So it's gonna be x to the fourth. So we're gonna have nine x to the fourth. All right, that's what we get when we simplify. I'm gonna give you another one, guys, another one for you guys to try out. Let's say we have x cubed squared. And then let's say we have 10x cubed squared. You guys try this one. Let's go over. So I told you that when we have x, let's say h is a power to the power of h or another one, we are going to multiply. So x cubed to three times two is six. So we're going to have sorry, three to the power of two. So it's going to be nine. So we're going to have x to the ninth. Think about it. x cubed squared is x cubed times x cubed, which is x to the ninth. Never mind. x to the sixth. All right. It's three times two, which is six. All right, let's go over this one. 10x cubed squared. All right, so we can think about this. You can do the first method where you write it all out or the second method where you distribute. Let's do the first method and see. So we're gonna have 10x cubed times 10x cubed. So we're going to have 100x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth. 100x to the sixth. Let's try the other method and see if we get it. 10 to the second power, 10 to the power of two is 100. And x cubed squared, x cubed times x cubed is x to the sixth, six. So we are going to get the same answer no matter what you do. All right, let's do one last problem. Let's say we have, if we have x to the sixth divided by x to the fourth, how do you simplify a division problem? So you know when you multiply, you have to add the exponents? Now, when you have x to the sixth divided by x to the fourth, you are going to subtract those exponents. So we're going to have x to the sixth minus four is two. So it's going to equal x squared. So it's simply subtracting it. That is what you get. Let's try a different problem. Say we have two y squared divided by um, y. So, so you have two divided by, when you have just y, is nothing but one y, one times y, see? So two divided by one is two, y squared divided by y, so y to the first. Two minus one is one. So we'll just have to have two y. One last problem, and then I'll stop the video. So, let's do multiple variables. What do you have more variables? How about x to the sixth, y squared, z to the first, divided by x squared, y, and z. Simplify this. So we just do the same thing, but for other variables. So x to the sixth by the x squared is x to the fourth. Y squared divided by y to the first, or y, is y. And z to the first divided by z to the first is one. It will cancel out. So we're just going to have x to the fourth y. That is our solution in the last problem of properties of x. Thank you and bye.